love to read your comments. And if you have other crafty friends or people that want to learn how to make cards, please share my video. Like I said, I am all about teaching quick and easy cards. And I also work really hard to share lots of stamping tips in every video I do. So even if you've been making cards for a while, I hope you pick up some tips and find some inspiration in what I have to share with you today. So we want to get to work on this card. I can't wait to share these products with you and the sip card and the step it up version of it. So let's flip the camera down and let's get to work. Alrighty, so like I promised, we are going to use stamps, ink, and paper. So our stamps is the Tropical Leaf Stamp Set, and there is a coordinating punch. Now, when I filmed this video, all of this was still available. In the event that you fall in love with this and maybe the punch might not still be available, that's okay because this leaf is actually really easy to cut out using a scissors. Punch just makes it fun and quick and easy. Um, but just wanted to share that this stamp set's amazing with or without the punch. And I'm gonna use the punch, so I guess we've strayed away from stamps ink and paper just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then we're just gonna use three ink pads. I got Granny Apple Green, Old Olive, and Early Espresso, and then some very vanilla cardstock. Remember, I'm all about quick and easy, plus using minimal supplies to make fun cards. So if you buy your cardstock in eight and a half by 11, what you're gonna wanna do is take a sheet, cut it in half, which means five and a half, and that will then give you two cards, or if we're gonna just make one, one of these becomes what I like to refer to as our card base. Oh, that doesn't work very good to cut it on, or fold it on there, does it? So there is the card base for our card here. And then for the card I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use this piece, and I am going to cut a little bit smaller than a quarter. So we're gonna make this piece three and three quarters by five. And this will be a layer for on my card. Okay, that's gonna go right on here. And then I have this piece that I like to refer to as my scrap, because this is where we're going to punch or cut out some of our images for our card. So we'll just set that aside, and then we're done with our paper cutter. So we'll move this. So we will start out by stamping this layer. Now, a lot of the cards I make, you'll notice I use designer series paper. It just makes a great background. But because we're limiting supplies here, we are gonna essentially make our own background paper. So for our layer, I'm going to take, there's actually two different size leaves. You could use either. Um, I'm gonna just take the smaller leaf. And we want this to be kind of a subtle background on here. So I'm gonna use my granny apple green. I'm gonna ink it up and I'm gonna go one, two, three. So the third time it's going onto my card. Now notice I spun that card. When I do this, I want these leaves to kind of go in different directions so they look very random. Okay, if I wasn't spinning the card, I'd have to be moving my arm really funny, um, or these leaves would all go in the same direction. We don't want that, okay? So remember, we're just making a background. Now, when you do this on a layer, make sure that you're getting all these edges, okay? We want this, you know, coming off the edge there. We wanna fill it up really good. Let's see, let's get that one going that way. Don't think too much of it. I find if, if when you're doing this random stamping, you, you think too much, it'll make you crazy. Okay, so we've stamped it randomly. We've got like the third stamping of that ink to get a much lighter shade, because we want it subtle. And then I'm gonna take the, what do we call it, the, the veins of the leaf. And this time, same ink pad, granny apple green, we're gonna go on the scrap paper just one time. And we're gonna turn this around and around and around, and we'll be doing this. Now, you probably wondered, where did I get this stamp set from? Because you don't see it in a catalog. This is part of Stampin' Up's online exclusive offering. Back in March, they started releasing products that would not be in a catalog, but that you would only be able to view them if you go to the stampinup.com online store. Oh, look at I didn't stamp it on scrap paper first. See how much darker it is? 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. But um, I'm talking and trying to stamp at the same time. So you have to go to stampinup.com and you will see these along with quite a few other products that are only visible in the online store. Um, it's just kind of fun because it's allowing them to give us more product in between catalogs. So make sure you go check that out because this really is kind of a fun stamp set. Now, we're almost done with our background. I have my random leaves on there, but I still have a lot of, I call it white space, but in this case, I guess it's vanilla space. And I want to fill this in pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do, let's just flip this over. Um, I am going to ink up my stamp again, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then I'm gonna stamp it like three more times. One, two, three, you know, like three more times all over. I am essentially want to fill in every little bit of this. And it may not look like it matters that much right now, but when I put this on that card layer or the card front layer, you're gonna see, okay. See how I've just covered the whole thing. So there's a little bit of green, different shades of that granny apple green all over the card. And the reason is now look at when I lay that onto our card base, it really has some great contrast and is going to make this pop for me, okay? So there's our background. We can set that aside. And then remember our little scrap piece, um, kind of the quarter sheet that we didn't use? On this one, we're going to take our larger leaf and we want three of these. So we're gonna go full strength off that granny apple pad, which really, really needs to be re-inked. I'm gonna do that after I do this video. Okay, so there's our three. And then just to get some good contrast, I have my old olive. And so for the veins on top of this larger leaf, we're gonna use old olive to just really make these leaves shine. There we go. Now, if you have the punch, you can do this the quick and easy way, punch those leaves out. Um, if you don't have a punch, they would be really simple to cut with the scissors. So don't fear. Um, the small leaf, if you wanna use that one, you'll have to cut that one with the scissors because it's only the larger one that's in the punch. Okay, we have our three leaves. We're just gonna do all our parts and pieces and I'll show you how to put the card together. Now, on this scrap paper, we're gonna also do our greeting. So one of the stamps in the set is called Love You Lots. What I like about this, it could be for anybody. It could be for a teenager, a child, a male or a female. We all struggle with those masculine cards, so this is a great set for those. We'll use early espresso, and then I gotta put my head like right over this. Hopefully you're not seeing the top of my head. And I'm stamping it right along the edge of my scrap paper. Now let's move stuff aside a little bit here so we don't get ink everywhere. Grab the paper cutter again. And now I'm going to put it in the paper cutter, use just the edge of my paper cutter here as my guide. Let's see, the light's making it kind of hard there. And I'm going to trim this down to size. So with greeting layers like this, I find it so much easier just to start with that scrap paper, stamp it, and then trim it down rather than trying to cut it and then center it and all that fun stuff. Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together. So we have our card base here, and then I'm going to use my um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue, fondly called green glue. Um, my favorite adhesive, but you use whatever works best for you. You know, I find people really have a love-hate relationship with the liquid glue. Um, usually if you hate it, it's because you probably put too much on. It does not take much. You don't want it to be gooshing out the edges. Um, and recently I had one of my team members ask, you know, what, what am I doing wrong that my paper always warps? That is because there's too much glue. Your paper should not warp at all, as long as you're using a cardstock when you use that. That just means you've got way too much going there. Okay, then let's grab our dimensionals. You know, everybody needs just a general glue adhesive of some sort. And then dimensionals in my book are an absolute must. This will just allow you to pop things up and it gives your quick and easy simple cards lots of dimension. So we'll go ahead and put Love You Lots right there. And now with these leaves, I'm gonna put two dimensionals on each and I'm going to have them kind of up at the top there. And you'll see why here in a second. Because I wanna take these 
and kind of stick it under, under my greeting there. I want to make sure I'm not hanging over the side of our card there. And we'll put, oh, we got one's there, one there. Okay, let's put two more in here. And then this one, I'm going to stick up here. Let's go about like so. And then the third one, we can go ahead and kind of overlap them just a little bit. Let's stick this one in like that. Okay, quick and easy. Sip, stamp, sink, and paper, plus the cheater punch. Now, we always want to finish off the inside as well. So what we will do here is let's just, again, keep it simple. Let's go back to our granny apple green, and let's just do one leaf, two leaf, Leaves, leaves, gosh, my English is bad today. And then we'll do the old olive and just go on top of those. And then there is, I like these, the little XOXO. So let's go in early espresso and just put that down by the leaf. And there is our easy card. Oh gosh, and I had ink on my hands. Look at, I smeared it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So there is that card. Now, what I wanna share with you, how you can take this simple card layout and step it up a little bit without a whole lot of other supplies but the more you get stamping and you want to go beyond just the sip it's super easy so let's set this one aside and let's make another one so again i'm starting with a piece of very vanilla to make my background so we're going to go one two three one two three and i'm going to do the exact same thing that i did and before, you know what, did I use the small leaf or the big leaf? I don't know, on the last one. We're using the big one on this one. Um, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna speed up the video here. Okay, we've got all the big leaves on there. And then let's go ahead and take that smaller one. So let's get a piece of paper here. You know, when you're doing this, if you keep stamping in the same exact spot, this ink will get kind of wet and it won't take off the ink to lighten it. That's why I'm kind of keep switching my pages here. So now we're gonna go one, two, three, and then one, two, three. We just wanna fill, oh, that time I did two, fill this whole thing in. Okay, there we go. Everything's covered on that. So we're kind of going the same way we started before, but now, you probably didn't notice on camera, this piece is a little bit larger than what I had there. And um, I think it's a whole quarter sheet actually, because what I want to do is use this die and it is called the Radiant Stitches dies. It comes, there's several dies in here, but what this will do is cut out my layer for me and give me some really fun stitch texture. So I'm going to go run this through my cut and emboss machine and I'll be right back. Check it out. Can you see all those fun stitches on there? It just adds something to our layer so that when I add it onto my card, it just has, I don't know, dimension or whatever you want to call it. But look at, you know, the little bit of difference that we have going there. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with our three leaves and our greeting. Um, and then when we go to put this card together, we're going to add a couple other things. So like I said, this is just to show you how easy it is to take that simple step sip, Jackie can't talk today, <laughs> card, and step it up with just a few other products. So now we've done that little bit of embossing, or not embossing, but um, die cutting for our layer instead of just using our paper trimmer. Same leaves, stamped the same way here. Now remember, check out stampinup.com, and I will have a link down in the description of this video will take you over to my website and over there, I will have a link to that online store so you can see all the online exclusive products that you won't find in a catalog. And I will also have a complete list of all the colors and stamps and supplies that I use for both my SIP card and their stepped up version. So make sure you go check that out. Okay, let's see if this piece is big enough for our greeting, I think it is. There we go, we'll grab our cutter. And same thing here, we're just gonna trim this down to the size we need and then we're gonna be about ready to put this card together and you'll see just the couple of extra touches that I'm going to do to step this one up okay so we're starting out the well no before we glue that on what I want to do is this is what I call a speckle stamp and 
honestly, I don't know what stamp set I got this out of. I will look it up and I'll have it on that blog post for you. But many stamp sets have something similar to this. And if you don't have one of these types of stamps, you could use a, a marker where you kind of tap on it and you get some speckles. But I think, I want you to look at this now before I start. By just putting a few of these early espresso um, splatters, speckle splatters, whatever you want to call it, it really kind of brings this to life, adds a little bit more dimension. What you probably can't see on the camera is I am touching it super light. I am not full on stamping it. Look at the difference. And I'm just super light several times because otherwise you can really overkill if you start stamping like that. So we want just those couple of really light speckles on there. Now we're going to put it on here. I didn't want to glue it down first because if I would have... Um, it would have gone over the edge of this layer and onto that card base. And I want to keep that card base, you know, nice and crisp and clean. So there is our layer, just like what we were doing before. Let's bring this one in here so you can kind of see how we're doing almost the exact same thing. We're going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on our greeting. Now, as soon as we finish this one, I have like three other cards I want to share with you. So don't go away. There's that. Um, and again, make sure you grab that link in the description of the, of the video here, and it'll take you over to my blog post with all the details on all the cards I'm sharing with you, the colors, the supplies, and the link to be able to go check out all the products that Stampin' Up! has available only online, not in, not in a catalog. So that's new for them. Um, so I'm trying to Get the word out. Make sure people know that there's other things other than the catalog. Okay, so there, dimensionals are flying, people. <laughs> okay, so, so far, the only thing different we've done is added the speckles on there, and then we cut that layer with a die instead of just the paper cutter. So then next, we just want to step it up a little bit more. I love linen thread. Um, as If you follow me, you know, I'm, you know, I really feel like this is almost one of my card making trademarks. Just about every card I have gets a little linen thread bow. So when I tie it, I kind of play around with it. I'll pull one a little bit smaller than the other. So just, um, I think the reason for years now I've used so much linen thread is because it's easy to tie. And I'm just kind of getting those tails going down that way. I cannot tie a bow in ribbon for the life of me. But this linen thread is just easy to tie nice little bows. Now, we already talked about adhesives. You need either your seal or liquid or whatever you like. You need dimensionals. And the other type of adhesive that you really need are the mini glue dots. Now, I use these primarily for adding things like the little bow. So let's here. And because it's bigger than my center of my bow, what I like to do is just use my fingers and kind of fold it in half because um, I don't like it sticking out. And we can go like so, and we're going to just pop it down by that one leaf. Okay, can you see how just adding a bow adds a lot to it? And then the final thing we're going to add are some embellishments. Now I have the brushed metallic ones. I'm not 100% sure if these retired with the last catalog or not. Um, they might have, but it doesn't matter. I have, there's so many different you know, just kind of generic type embellishments. Grab what you have, add three. Everything's better in, in threes. I use my take your pick tool, um, the putty, and just saw how I picked those up. And there we go. There is our stepped up version. So stamping's the same, layering's the same. We just added a few things to make it stepped up a little bit. So you ready to see a couple other cards I made? Okay, so I made this one ahead of time. So you can see that. And then for this one, Actually, all three that I have to share with you now use pretty much the same things. You can see there is that same layer cut with that die. This might be my new favorite, like layering die. Um, and then I use this piece, which is designed, I believe, to be a stem, but I used it to go this way just to create a background. And you can see those real light leaves in the background as well. Um, now this, with that early espresso, I think I stamped it off of my scrap paper like three or four times and then onto the card because I wanted it real light. Um, and then I just used a circle punch for my greeting. But again, three leaves, there's our embellishments and a bow. 
And then card number three, again, everything's basically the same other than the stamping layout. There's those stems. And here I have three of the large leaves and two small ones. So these I did cut with my scissors, but it's just another layout using the exact same supplies um, and just laying it out a little different. Now, if you didn't wanna do the stepped up, you certainly could use this idea and make all three of these very similar as well. So I hope you like this video. I hope you learned lots of tips um, from stamping your pads off to get different shapes using a speckle or some type of spattering on your card and then how to step it up just a little bit with some linen thread and some embellishments. So make sure you hop over to that blog post and check out all the information I have over there for you. And as always, I am here to help you in any way I can to learn how to make quick and easy cards. Whether you're a brand new stamper or you've been stamping for a long time and you just want to make quick and easy cards. Make sure you reach out to me, leave me a comment, send me an email. I'll help you in any way I can. So I'll be stamping again with you real soon. Have a stamp happy day.